Hey everyone, this is Max, and today we are going to teach you how to customize your Windows Phone 8.1. Um, ever since the update, <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me how I get my home screen like this, and so that's what we're going to do today, and show you how to manage these icons as well. Alright, so first things first is you need to download Windows Phone 8.1. So go ahead and um, if you don't have it already, you can wait till June, mid-June for the official release or click on the link on the lower right for my tutorial on how to go ahead and update your phone to Windows Phone 8.1. All right, so let's get started. So first things first, you need to go to settings, start and theme. And I'm going to go ahead and redo this again. <clears throat> um, the background and violet refers to where your tiles are located. So this right here. You can change it to light, you can change it to dark. Um, I particularly choose violet and dark. Um, I'm not sure if it uses less battery. I'm assuming it does because it's dark. So first thing you wanna do, show more tiles. Go ahead and click that on, yes. Start background, choose photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the same photo. And because of the phone layout, um, it's going to be a portrait phone or portrait photo. So choose one that you like. Um, here's the one that I like, and I'm going to go ahead and choose sort of like that. All right. And then from there, it basically changes your desktop. Now from there, you'll need to rearrange your icons to play with it. Um, a lot of the icons um, already come clear, but there will be some that are third party that will not be that does not come in this particular color. So, for example, Facebook messaging, Viber. So, how do we do that? Um, an application you would want to download is App Folder. So, from here, I've already downloaded it. Um, you can pause right now, download the app from the store. For me, I'm going to start a folder called SMS. Let's see here. Um, what was it? It was Facebook messaging. No, it's probably under M. Messenger. Messenger, not messaging. Max. <laughs> um, we'll also go ahead and get Viber and WhatsApp. Okay. Then from there, you just click Done. Then you'll click this button right here, pin, voila. So you'll have this, these three apps pinned to the start and you can go ahead and resize this as well as little or as big as you would like. There you go. So maybe, yeah. I'll go ahead and put this up here and get rid of this WhatsApp button. Voila. So that's how you can customize um, your Windows Phone. And another thing that I wanted to go over as well is notifications. Um, some people have been asking me how do I change these notification bars. Well, it's pretty easy. So um, you'd want to go ahead and click all settings. And it will take you to this um, the systems settings. Click on notifications and actions. And from here, you can actually choose which ones you want. Um, for me, Wi-Fi, on and off, um, brightness is useful, airplane mode, and screen rotation. Those um, rotation lock. These are the four that I use the most, so these are the four that I use. And from here, you can also change um, the applications and their notifications. So if you don't want to receive banners, sounds, and vibrations, um, we should actually turn the vibrations off. I don't like vibrations. Voila. So my friends, that is how you customize your Windows Phone 8.1 to having this fancy, fancy screen. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section. Or if there's mm -hmm. anything you'd like to see, post them in the comment section. And it'll probably be the topic of my new video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Aloha.